Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sea God YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a little bit of fitment testing. I don't think it's going to be 100% just yet because the wheels I want to put on, uh, I'm still waiting for the new tires to come in. So until then, this is just going to be testing and I kind of want to align the front end of the car. Let me show you why. So yeah, that right there will be the reason why I want to align it. We are running quite a bit more camber than stock, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, I don't think I ever really introduced you to the new car. This is a 1999 BMW 328. It is not an M3, but it does have the M package, which comes with the bumpers. Um, these aren't even the correct wheels. Someone put these on after the fact. But um, it's got the side molding there that has the M on it, the uh, side skirts, the rear bumper. It does not have the mirrors, however, which I'm happy it does not because the M3 mirrors are just kind of, they're just a little silly looking, you know? But yeah, we got the M3 mats. It's got the M series wheel. It had an M series shift knob as well, but I changed that out due to the other one was broken. Um, it was broken and it wouldn't be like a press fit on there anymore. So every time you go to bang second, it just come off in your hand. Um, I had the BMW emblem on here, but it looks like it came off. Go ahead and show you guys the old, here is our 2.8 liter M52 B28, if it'll focus. Um, pretty stock. It does have this cold air intake or whatever the fuck, which is cool, I guess. Um. I did put these ghetto coils on already, which you've seen in a previous video. And they're all the way cambied out. It looks pretty sick, actually. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, she's got about 132,000 on it. So pretty solid. It is a five speed manual trans. So yeah, pretty fun little car. I like it. But um, yeah, we're running more camber than we should be. But here it is. I fuck with it. It's got the black leather, you know, soft top bullshit. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me go and give you a little peep at the wheels. See, these are our rear spacers here. Um, let me go ahead and show you the wheels we're going to be putting on. Excuse the dirty ass garage. Damn, peep that fuel cell though. So these are what's going to be getting put on the car. They are discontinued, rare ultra rare never seen another set before in my life probably won't see another but um they are weld racing evo slashers and as you can tell by these wheels as you can see these are going this direction and that ones are going that way they are directional wheels um they do need new gel cap center caps i'm going to go ahead and show you guys i have a pair of 17s as well which they're back here in my jungle so there's those, and these are going to be the 18s that go on the rear. See, this one here is probably the best center cap we have. It's like a kind of like a fake carbon background, and then it just says Weld Evo. Um, but yeah, the rears are going to be 18 by 9.5 with a 215.40, and the fronts are just going to be a 215.35 to allow clearance when turning and tucking. Um, so yeah, these, these hopefully they fit very easily. Um, if not, I do have adjustable camber arms that I just got in the mail. And here we have another piece to the puzzle, guys. Breaking out the, the secrets and shit. But we got a hard top for the E36. As you could tell, it is blue. It's kind of dirty, but it is indeed blue. So we're going to have to paint it. And I don't really know if we're going to be doing that on the channel or if I'm going to pay somebody because I don't want to fuck it up does need tint also because that's fucked but uh yeah so that's going to be going on eventually like i said i do want to paint it tint it and all that good shit before it goes on but for today we're going to be trying to fit the fronts and depending on how well that goes we'll get to the rears so i'm going to go ahead and continue by jacking the front of the car up we're going to go ahead and take these wheels off and 
start fitting it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to remove the inner fender liners, probably roll the fenders. I'm going to tension the spring on the coilover all the way up. And in doing that, we should be able to get enough um, height. Because as you can see, I'm trying to tuck wheel. And um, right now, it's about an inch, inch and a half maybe from tucking wheel on these 18s, but they do have big ass tires, so I did raise it quite a bit. So let me go ahead and get it um, on stands and whatnot, and I'll bring you guys back. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Beamer, pretty solid cop. I did pay 2,800 for the car. Um, I got the hard top for a steal, I'll tell you. I paid $700. Um, I did have to drive about four hours out for it, which ain't too bad, so yeah. Let me know what you think about the hard top, and uh, I think I'm going to save the paint idea that I have for it, and uh, that'll be for another video, just so that I keep you guys on your toes. Let me get down on this Beamer right quick. Alright guys, so we out here, you know, gang ganging it and shit. I got one side pretty much knocked out, uh, so let me show you what the hell I've been doing. So, as you can see, we've got our coilover with the spring as compressed as it'll possibly go until we ran out of threads on the shock body we made the mount go all the way up and it's fucking pressed against that lower coilover mount as you can see we have removed the inner fender well cover and we've secured you know loose wiring or whatever there was an eight millimeter bolt like right there so as you can see that is removed um we do now have the air filter wide the fuck open which is kind of sketch um but all my like mounting locations and everything were broken to my inner fender well cover or else i would normally just cut it off like about right here just so that we have room on the top to not rub but um yeah so that's what we've got so far i did do a little bit of a roll on the fender also um as you can see the fender wasn't perfect to begin with so I pretty much just had this dead blow hammer on the outside and then I was rolling the inside lip with this big fucking hammer. Um, let me go ahead and turn this. All right guys, so as you could see, to be able to fit the wheels, unfortunately we're unable to run all the camber we wanted to. Um, I initially had like six washers here and I went down to three because our wheel wasn't wanting to clear the coil over on the inside whenever we had the car fully slammed so damn look guys we got some fucking beans over there with these fucking razors just rolling around town because they're street legal and they're balling like that one of them earlier was bumping hella music so that's cool um but yeah back to this so yeah, guys, I don't know if I would have went with a two-inch spacer instead of the inch and a half, if it would have worked out better. Um, I don't really have the tools necessary to be able to try that. So, um, this side is done. I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel back on and knock the other side out real quick. And I'll bring you guys back whenever we set the car back on the ground. Um, it still kind of looks like it's going to tuck. It doesn't have as much camber. But it's pretty close. Um, it's kind of fender to lip-ish. We'll see what's good. Um, it's not that big of an issue, you know. Like I said, this is all trial and error. So we're out here trying and failing and trying again until we get it. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this whole shit out. And I'll bring you guys back whenever we set the car on the ground and possibly align the front of it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back right now <laughs> yo pimp players so i got the front done it's fully knocked out i just took it for a test drive she fucking boogies i got full lock and shit i got everything you know um i'm pretty sure i do not have an lsd though or my lsd is ass because as i was trying to back out of this drive look i'm not going to show you the car yet but i'll be able... oh see look so i did a fucking bernie the other day whenever i was all fucked up right and it burned them both, my nigga. Oh, look, and my plate fucking came in, guys, just today. Like, literally just a few minutes ago, just put it on. So I tried backing this puppy out. As you can see, she's a tad bit lower than she once was. But uh, I don't know if it was burning this one. I mean, obviously not, since it was stuck or whatever. 
but this one was letting her fucking eat and uh yeah so what the fuck but without further ado go ahead and show you the fucking whipski see what we got old girl sitting like so um like i said earlier i was unable to get it to tuck wheel but um we are like about tight fingers width so i mean pretty legit it is pretty fucking aggressive also i don't know if the toe is super duper fucking out which i'm sure it is but i know from my last e36 that these cars actually look towed out from the factory because the way the body line is it actually like comes forward so right now she's just fucking poking out like a like a little street whore or whatever you know but yeah guys it's pretty fucking wicked you know i think it looks fucking dope um a lot lower too we actually are almost kind of low now the front bumper height will probably come up just a hair whenever we put the smaller wheels on the back but i mean other than that guys if so i'm gonna go ahead and like show you guys all the angles and shit so i mean fitment is just dumb tight guys like it is it's real nice and tight i tell you it's like right on the tire it's not poking lip out because like right here at the midpoint it's like just right fucking on it damn that's a beautiful visual i just gave you guys either way so that's how it looks um i'm not gonna lie to you guys whenever i had first installed the coilovers i kind of rolled this out just a tad kind of hard to even see but as you can see the front is just like it's just fucked up a little bit already but i mean it is what it is you know what i mean this is static shit car drift car stance car bullshit so this side for some reason it's like an eighth of an inch higher and i honestly don't know why they're set up exactly the same but if it becomes an issue i can raise the other side to match uh right now it sits like dead even with the tire or the the wheel protector or whatever so i mean it's pretty fucking legit i believe the other side yeah see the other side tucks that lip protector part of the tire so I mean, as you can see the lip protector parts right there this side is sitting fucking nice i'll tell you um but yeah guys like i said i just took it i went up and down the block i went through some dips shit like that you know and she fucking rips doesn't rub somehow it doesn't rub i'm just that nice so i think i'm gonna get cracking on the back but uh I don't think I'm actually going to go as far as shaving the fenders and stuff. I'm going to get the spacers fitted and see what it's sitting like. But if it's too much work, I'm probably just going to rock this here set up, as you can see, till probably next week. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, like I said, if the rear is too much work, this is going to be the end of the front fitment video. Um, the rear will be a whole nother video or like a complete video I guess whenever you see the whole car so if this is the end I will catch you later this is your man C guy checking out we will maybe run more camber in the future Fuck. I don't know my, she looks pretty nice my guys it does look very towed out though but very nice regardless let me go ahead and give you one of these views yeah, it's kind of hard to capture on the camera, but god damn, it does look nice. Um, it's not terribly low. I am grabbing on something. I'm pretty sure it's the stock exhaust, so that'll probably clearance itself within the next few days or whatever. But other than that, like I said, I did stiffen up the uh, coilover spring as much as it'll go, and I put the dampening adjustment, if that shit even works. I put them full tight on both of them, and you can tell it does ride nice and stiff now. So it's pretty nice. I'm assuming hopefully that's why I don't rub very often. So that's cool. The rear, like I said, it is kind of rolled. But depending on how tight of fitment we want, eh, honestly, we might be able to get away with it. It might be a little gapped, though. It's not going to look as cool as the front does. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Like I stated in the last video, the 25 mil spacers do not clear the heads of these bolts. So I am going to have to shave all 10 of them shave the heads down so that's what i'm going to do right now once i get the car up in the air and the wheels off 
But yeah, guys, without further ado, this is going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Seagot, and I am checking out. Deuces. All right, guys. So the video is not over. I did go ahead and I uh, got to shaving these fucking wheel bolts. So, I mean, as you can see, they used to have like a little bit of a dish. I just needed to clear them. So, as you can see, they're now all able to lay a wheel flat take you over here and you can see how they used to look like maybe but yeah they had a little bit of a dish so I just pretty much took the little lip off of it so we are gonna go ahead and try putting this wheel on it um, it does have a little bit bigger tire it's a 215 40 whereas the fronts are a 215 35 so I'm going to go ahead and try it on with the one inch spacer and see what we're fucking with. Um, yeah, and then uh, I'll probably set the car down and bring you guys back. Looks like we're getting a little bit of weather, guys. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'm able to get the wheels on before it gets too bad outside. I also wanted to cut the grass in my backyard, so I mean, hopefully. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so turns out I was playing myself whenever I was telling you guys about fitting that one inch spacer. Um, I did go ahead and shave down the fucking bolts. But uh, after I put the spacer on, tried to fit the wheel, the wheel was hitting the fender. I'm too lazy to shave it right now and that all comes down to this. So I mean I figured you guys would want to see it somewhere other than my driveway. So here you have it sits pretty sick um, this is like 18 by nine and a half plus 53 so I mean it sits really fucking in there um, I'm assuming after I pull the diff out and I put the camber arms in the back I'll be able to adjust it or possibly pull this or whatever to be able to sit like this but with the one inch spacer but I mean those fucking shaped bolt heads don't look too bad but yeah, I think it looks pretty fucking dope, guys. I fuck with it for now. Um, I do have a massive fucking leak. So whenever I put these wheels on, there was zero PSI in this tire on this side. There was just full on zero pounds of pressure right here. So I aired it up to about 60 pounds. And then the whole time I was messing with the front end and then putting the backs and whatever, this, this one here only had like 10 or 15 PSI left. So it leaks really fucking bad. Um, I already received the new 215 40s for the rear. So that's cool. However, the ones that I actually need are the 215 35s. And those won't be here till next week. So the car may be down because I don't really want to go through and put the stock wheels on it and all that shit again. But damn, look at that fucking shot, guys. That is a sick ass bitch, I'll tell you what. So I'm going to cruise this motherfucker right now. While she's got pressure, um, I don't have my drill with me or else I would have dropped the fucking top. But yeah, guys. So that's essentially what she looks like. The rear looks fucking weak. The front looks fucking dope. So, I mean, that's cool and all. Very cool beans. Some of the coolest beans to come to the channel. It's not very low at all. Very nice daily height, you know, take the kids in it, go drifting. I am going to drive this to work every day and whatnot. So I may actually leave the front height. Um, I do want to tuck in the rear. I wanted to tuck in the front too. So I may actually get some SLR um, camber plates. Which have a lot more adjustment than these eBay Johns. But I've heard you have to cut your strut tower. But I mean we all know I'm good for that shit. So yeah from here this is what the car looks like. This is what she's going to sit like for now. Like I said rear will get the one inch spacer do some fender work because as you can see it in here I don't know if you can see it honestly because I can't see what you're seeing but um yeah just know that the fitment is really tight right now and once we shave this then we'll be able to bring the wheel out but I mean who actually knows you know I may also just end up doing like a smaller spacer like a 15 mil that way I don't have to run very much camber or anything like that and something like that would just get longer bolts and be like a slip-on spacer 
fuck guys I can't get over that this hoe is bad fuck um yeah like I said just not too sure about the rears but the front sits fucking titties so yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and actually end the video here I did want to show you guys the car in a different setting other than the uh, driveway and the house so just so you guys know I do actually drive these cars I just don't like to really film out in public I am in beautiful Garden City so I mean here we got Kansas Avenue got all these guys out here but yeah guys so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here thank you for staying and watching this long I know my content isn't the greatest but I do be trying I am a father of two pretty much married you know got a whole ass house work 40 plus hours a week and i be doing cool shit on the side so cut your boy some slack give me a sub give me a like drop a comment i'll catch you later this is the ending for real this time deuces